Right. Hey guys, Scott Fishman here. We are in Orlando and what seems to be Mr. Orlando, Mojo. I like How's it that going? title. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm with that. I feel good now. <laughs> so how does it feel? You know, we're seeing wrestlers here from all over, spanning all the different wrestling organizations, all coming together today for John Cena's freelance movie. So what does it mean to you to kind of see everybody? Uh, it's awesome, man. I mean, one thing about wrestling is it's a family more so than any other sport I've ever seen, you know, being in a football locker room is the brotherhoods and sisterhoods that you, you have in wrestling is, is second to none. So being able to get everyone together for a family fun night, uh, we're, we're calling it, uh, is really cool. And especially when it's to support one of our own, even though that guy in particular has been one that has supported the rest of us uh, from a career perspective for, for so long. It's, it's awesome. You know, wrestlers supporting wrestlers. It's a pretty cool story. Um, you know, you speak of John Cena. I mean, he's parlayed his success, obviously, in the movie industry. You've had some, you know, you have some parts in movies as well. Um, what do you kind of take from him? Did you have, like, a memorable interaction with him or something that you kind of take, you know, uh, getting to know him over the years? Yeah, I mean, every time I see him, it's always hilarious. It's a, it's a great duty. He always has great, great tips and great advice for me. But uh, that energy, he knows when he sees me, he gets all hyped up. And that's that's all. He gets hyped, hyped and stays hyped? He's, well, he, he likes to remind me. He doesn't like to stay hyped. He just he gets hyped for a very, just part of the day. And then he goes back to not being hyped. That, gotcha. That's his joke. I, I think he stays hyped, though. <laughs> Um, you recently reflected on your uh, NXT 10 years, I think, when you first made your NXT uh, yeah. debut. I remember the days when, you know, in South Florida and Miami when they used to do the fair shows. And, you know, you were one of the guys that uh, they were saying was like the next big thing. So talk about just how do you reflect on that and just how do you look at it today? Uh, it's crazy that it was 10 years ago, that, that debut. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Um, it's, it's been a fun ride, you know, those those fair shows and the armories and all of those things. It's things I wouldn't trade for anything. I mean, that was some of the most fun I ever had wrestling. In some ways, it was even better than the, the manias and the big stadiums, just those small, intimate crowds. Like, you know, you're new and you're trying new things and you're trying to find your way and you're fighting that uphill battle. It's uh, it's real cool. It's something that you'll you'll cherish forever. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, some of those fair shows got pretty ridiculous. <laughs> but it was a cool setting, though. It, yeah, it and that's how you, it's a good way to learn in front of crowds. So. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. And, I mean, at that point, we were just wrestling, practice all day, shows all night. It was nonstop. You had no choice but to figure it out in a hurry or else you're just not going to be there anymore. One thing I have noticed on social media, you know, you've used your platform to kind of draw awareness. You know, things are going on in the Middle East. Why is it important for you to kind of help get the message out there um, and things that are going out in the real world? Um, well, I think that's that's why you work this hard to create a voice is so that when you are in a position where there's a situation that that really matters that's just pivotal you know your voice carries some some extra weight hopefully I mean that's that's the mission that's why you that's why you do all this that's why um, you know when you show up at a charity event the, the kids are happy to see you because you worked really hard and you did everything you could to be in a position to, to be on TV, to play a sport, to, to wrestle a match, whatever it might be, so that when you you know you see a kid in need that needs some help, um, you can make a difference in their life and actually connect to them. Um, you know, I've always kind of stayed away from politics or things like that. I try to keep my page very upbeat and fun and friendly and hyped. You know, something that you know everybody can get behind or go to for you know a laugh or an energy boost or something like that. But um, when, when situations pop up that, uh, that really matter, you can't be afraid to, to speak out and, you know, try and inspire and uh, just, you know, seek peace. Um, one last thing, I know you were a big part of, uh, last time I spoke to you, you were talking about uh, your business, uh, the agency, kind of helping wrestlers kind of brand themselves and things, which we've seen a big part of, you know, as we're using social media and other things. Um, how's that been? Uh, talk about just some of the biggest success stories that you've had. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, well, my business partner's running around here somewhere. I don't know where Steve is. Uh, but, yeah, we formed Paragon Talent Group about two and a half years ago, um, and the company just really took off. At this point, we've done deals for about 250 talent, um, which <laughs> if you would have told us two and a half years ago the, the agency, the management company would be that big, we probably wouldn't uh, <laughs> have believed you. Who are some of the names? Yeah, look around. <laughs> look around who's, who's here. That's some of the names. Okay. Yeah, we, I mean, I'd say just about everyone here we've done something with at some point, whatever that might be. And, uh, you know, the goal is just to try and help the talent, protect them, um, 
send extra work, whatever it might be. Everyone's relationship is a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's you know growing the brand of professional wrestling and reintroducing what we do to the outside world that maybe stopped watching years back. So, are you any talk about you going back in the ring or, or anywhere? <laughs> I'm sure you get that all the time, but what, what's your mindset right now? It's been three years, I believe, three and a half almost, since I wrestled my last match in WWE. I've had the itch for a long time to go back. I have been plotting it. There has been some awesome offers. I just uh, got to find the one that, that makes the most sense. There's a lot going on these days, but I, I, I do miss it a lot. All right, well, we'll see where you end up. I mean, obviously, you're doing well. For your, you have a nice suit on. Here for the, here for the screening of Freelance, supporting John Cena. Uh, thanks you for the time. I appreciate it. Good to see you again, brother. All Thank right. you.